Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about 360 photos. Those are those photos that you can see on Google or on Facebook where you can basically take a tour around an area. In other words, you can spin your browser around and check everything out. So I've been playing with them because we wanted to think about adding them to our church website or our Google Photos, if you will, if you go to our Google Business page. So we wanted to play with this. So first thing I did was I first decided to get an actual 360 camera. So I got this little LG 360 and so this is kind of a little bit of a review of the LG 360 here but also a little tutorial on what we did with the photos or what we're going to do with the photos for that matter so let me first talk about this this is the LG 360 uh, we got it for about a hundred bucks on eBay so not bad price wise uh, in terms of overall grade of ease of use I would say overall this product I'd give it a solid B minus C plus depending on what your expectations are uh, first off, in terms of getting it out of the box and being able to just run with it, uh, a little bit confusing. To be honest with you, it, it has a very un-Apple-like experience in terms of the instructions. Very small instructions, a little hard to figure out how to connect the camera with the phone. So that was not super great. It has an iPhone app that you can basically use as your viewfinder, if you will. And it's fair. It's okay. It's not super intuitive. Uh, I was able to figure it out fairly easy. However, if you are... This is your first time using it it's going to take you a little while to kind of figure that out so overall i think it's it's an okay camera uh i haven't looked at too much of the video footage because also does video as well it's fine uh, the other thing it struggles with is it struggles with the splicing of the photos so what i mean by that this has two cameras one here one here so basically it takes like a 180 shot here and a 180 shot here so what that means is they have to splice the photo here and here, okay? And I'll show you in a second here what I mean by that. And that's where this thing really fails is the splice. And you can obviously see where the two photos are meeting. So honestly, continuity wise, I wasn't super crazy about that, especially when you think, begin to think about the fact you could pull all this off with your smartphone. If you download the Google Street View app, you can do 360 photos really easily on that app. Inside of you click it and it'll walk you through a tutorial. I found that actually probably the easiest thing to do was create everything from the iPhone inside the Google Street View app and then create the 360 photos that way. So overall, I would say if you're thinking about buying it, I would say possibly upgrade to the Nokia or if you're a Samsung, Samsung user and you have a Samsung phone, look at the Samsung 360 camera instead because I just think it's got better quality. The Nokia looks a lot better. There's some just other cameras out there I think are just a better quality than this. So for me, I would hold off on this. So let's go to the computer though and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff we've done with the 360 photos. A couple of ways that you can use these 360 photos. So real quickly, you can go to your Google Maps. So if you just go on your desktop and just search for Google Maps, and then search for your church. If you're logged in as your church or logged in as even as a user, you can add photos for people to explore for your church. So I'm already here at our church. I've actually found them as a location. And then if I go down to the lower left, you can see add a photo. So if I clicked on add a photo right here, I would have the ability to go in and add photos. You can already tell I've uploaded some photos and I can upload the photos straight into the viewer. All right, so I've already done that, so we're gonna just close right out of that. And then once you do that, your photos will be uploaded and people can then view them when they search for your location on Google Maps. So let me show you an example of one. This is our worship center. So as you can tell, I can now do a 360 spin around tour of our worship center. Again, I'm not happy with the quality of these photos. Uh, this is what the LG 360 produced. Um, so that's something I'm going to be looking to rectify, maybe get a better camera, maybe find a way to do it with a Canon camera, something a little bit nicer, but it gives me a good starting point of something that I can look forward towards in the future. Here's another photo I took of our children's area. So super easy to do, upload, and then all of a sudden anybody who comes on Google Maps can now do a 360 tour of our church, which is really nice. But let's say I want to take this photo and I want it to live somewhere else. What you do is, as you're on the photo, you can go up this little three dot menu right up here and you can click share or embed image. And then you click embed image and guess what? It'll give you an embed code. And this embed code that's gonna pull up right here will allow you to, you can cut and copy and paste this and put it inside a page on your church website and almost build a gallery page for everybody to see basically a virtual tour of your church. Let me give you an example of a church that's done that. This is Oaks Fellowship down in Texas. And what they did on their service times page, they embedded their worship center. And actually that's a really nice photo of that worship center. 
But there you go. You can actually do an actual view of what their worship center looks like on 360, and they did this on their webpage. So not super hard to do just by simply uploading and embedding the uh, image into your web page. So there's are some of the easy ways you can use 360 photos. Um, there's going to be more to come, but I want to kind of give you an overview of how you can do that and kind of really enhance the user experience of somebody who's possibly looking at attending your church. So 360 photos, definitely need to take a look at it. Definitely want to experiment with some different cameras and kind of get the best image quality possible. I know I'm going to be experimenting some more with this LG 360 and then looking at some other cameras, even try my iPhone to see if my iPhone is better than the quality that we got out of this image. So there you go. Thanks.